Srirangapatna also spelled Srirangapatana, anglicised to Seringapatam during the British Raj is a town of Mandya district in the Indian state of Karnataka. Located near the city of Mysore, it is of religious, cultural and historic importance. The monuments on the island town of Srirangapatna has been nominated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and its application is pending on the tentative list of UNESCO. Location Although situated a mere 15 km from Mysore city, Srirangapatna lies in the neighbouring district of Mandya. The entire town is enclosed by the river Kaveri to form a river island, northern half of which is shown in the adjacent image. While the main river flows on the eastern side of the island, the Pashima Vahini segment of the same river flows to its west. The town is easily accessible by train from Bangalore and Mysore and is also well connected by road, lying as it does just off the Bangalore-Mysore highway. The highway passes through this town and special care was taken to minimize any impact on the monuments. <inaudible> <inaudible> Religious significance The town takes its name from the celebrated Ranganathaswamy temple which dominates the town, making Srirangapatna one of the most important Vaishnavite centers of pilgrimage in South India. The temple was built by the Ganga dynasty rulers of the area in the 9th century, the structure was strengthened and improved upon architecturally some three centuries later. Thus, the temple is a medley of the Hoysala and Vijayanagar styles of temple architecture. Tradition holds that all the islands formed in the Kaveri River are consecrated to Sri Ranganathaswamy, and large temples have been built in very ancient times dedicated to that deity on the three largest islands. These three towns, which constitute the main pilgrimage centres dedicated to Ranganathaswamy, are Adi Ranga, at Srirangapatna Madhya Ranga, at Savasamudram Antya Ranga, at Srirangam The presence of the Kaveri River is in itself considered auspicious and sanctifying. The Pashima Vahini section of the Kaveri at Srirangapatna is considered especially sacred. The pious come from far and wide to immerse the ashes of the departed and perform obsequies to their ancestors in these waters. Demographics As of 2001 India census, Srirangapatna had a population of 23,448. Males constitute 51% of the population and females 49%. Srirangapatna has an average literacy rate of 68%, higher than the national average of 59.5%, male literacy is 74%, and female literacy is 63%. In Srirangapatna, 10% of the population is under 6 years of age. Geography. <laughs> <laughs> Srirangapatna is at 12.41 degrees north 76.7 degrees east, 12.41, 76.7. It has an average elevation of 679 metres 2, feet. Srirangapatna Sangama is the confluence of the three holy streams creating the island. Located 27 kilometres upstream from the town is the spectacular Shivanasamudra Falls, the second biggest waterfall in India and the 16th largest in the world. History Srirangapatna has since time immemorial been an urban centre and place of pilgrimage. During the Vijayanagar Empire, it became the seat of a major viceroyalty, from where several nearby vassal states of the empire, such as Mysore and Talakad, were overseen. When, perceiving the decline of the Vijayanagar Empire, the rulers of Mysore ventured to assert independence, Srirangapatna was their first target. Raja Wodyar vanquished Rangaraya, the then viceroy of Srirangapatna, in 1610 and celebrated the Navaratri festival in the town that year. It came to be accepted in time that two things demonstrated control and signified sovereignty over the kingdom of Mysore by any claimant to the throne. Successful holding of the ten-day-long Navaratri festival, dedicated to Chamundeshwari, patron goddess of Mysore. 
control of the fort of Srirangapatna, the fortification nearest to the capital city of Mysore. Srirangapatna remained part of the Kingdom of Mysore from 1610 to after India's independence in 1947. As the fortress closest to the capital city of Mysore, it was the last bastion and defence of the kingdom in case of invasion. Hyder and Tipu Srirangapatna became the de facto capital of Mysore under Hyder Ali and Tipu Sultan. When Tipu finally dispensed with the charade of deference to the legitimate Wodyar Maharaja who was actually his captive, and proclaimed the Kudadad state under his own kingship, Srirangapatna became de jure the capital of this just and ably managed kingdom. In that heady period, the state ruled by Tipu extended its frontiers in every direction, encompassing a major portion of South India. Srirangapatna flourished as the cosmopolitan capital of this powerful state. Various Indo-Islamic monuments that dot the town, such as Tipu Sultan's palaces, the Darya Daulat and the Juma Masjid Friday Congregational Mosque, date from this period. Treaty of Seringapatam, 1792 The Treaty of Seringapatam also called Srirangapatinam, signed 18 March 1792, ended the Third Anglo-Mysore War. Its signatories included Lord Cornwallis on behalf of the British East India Company, representatives of the Nizam of Hyderabad and the Maratha Empire, and Tipu Sultan, the ruler of Mysore. Topic Battle of Seringapatam, 1799 Srirangapatna was the scene of the last and decisive battle fought between Tipu Sultan and a combined force of 50,000 men provided equally by the Nizam of Hyderabad and the East India Company under the overall command of General George Harris. This battle was the last engagement of the Fourth Anglo-Mysore War. The Battle of Seringapatam, 1799, was truly momentous in its historic effects. At the battle's climax, Tipu Sultan was killed within the fort of Seringapatam, betrayed by one of his own confidants. The spot where he ultimately fell is marked by a memorial. For the last time in history, Seringapatam had been the scene of political change in the Sultanate of Mysore. The joint forces of the victorious army proceeded to plunder Seringapatam and ransack Tipu's palace. Apart from the usual gold and cash, innumerable valuables and objects dar, not accepting even the personal effects of Tipu Sultan, his rich clothes and shoes, sword and firearms, were shipped to England. While most of this is now to be found in the British Royal Collection and in the Victoria and Albert Museum, some articles have occasionally become available at auctions and have been retrieved for their native land. The sword of Tipu Sultan has been acquired by Vijay Malya, a liquor baron from Karnataka, who purchased the same at a Sotheby's auction. Much of the site of the battle is still intact including the ramparts, the water gate, the place where the Tipu Sultan's body was found, the area where the British prisoners were held and the site of the destroyed palace. Tipu's tiger, an automaton now in the Victoria and Albert Museum, was captured at the battle. Topic places of interest The town is famous for a very ancient temple dedicated to Sri Ranganathaswamy, a form of Lord Vishnu. There is also Kalyani Siddhi Vinayaka Temple in front of the Sri Ranganathaswamy Temple. Other temples in Srirangapatna include the Lakshminarasimha Swami Temple, Jyoti Mahaswara Temple, Bidkata Ganesha Temple, Pandaranga Swami Temple, the Sathyanarayana Swami Temple, the Anjunaya Swami Temple, the Ayapa Temple, the Gangadharaswara Swami Temple, and Raghunathanagara Ganesha Temple, Lakshmi Temple, Sri Raghavendra Swami Mutt on Old Post Office Road, surrounding Srirangapatna in Fort 8 Ganesha and Anjunaya Temples. The Karagata Black Hill and its temple of Lord Srinivasa is a few kilometers from the town. The deity is Kari Jiri Vesa, one who resides on the Black Hill. The renowned Nimashamba temple is about two kilometers from the town. Srirangapatna also hosts the summer palace of Tipu Sultan and his mausoleum. Topic: <laughs> Sri Ranganathaswamy Temple. The Ranganthaswami Temple, usually referred to as Sri Ranganathaswami, is dedicated to Ranganatha, a manifestation of Vishnu. It is one of the five important pilgrimage sites along the river Kaveri for devotees of Ranganatha. These five sacred sites are together known as Pancharanga Shatrams in southern India. 
Since Sri Rangapatna is the first temple starting from upstream, the deity is known as Adi Ranga lit. First Ranga. And the town of Srirangapatna, which derives its name from the temple, is on an island in the river Kaveri. <laughs> Darya Daulat Bagh The Darya Daulat Palace, Summer Palace is set amidst beautiful gardens called Darya Daulat Bagh. Tipu Sultan built this palace in 1784. The palace is built in the Indo Sarsenic style and mostly made of teakwood. The palace has a rectangular plan and is built on a raised platform. Other attractions in Srirangapatna include the Juma Masjid a mosque and the Darya Daulat Gardens. The mosque has stone Arabic inscriptions which mention the 99 titles given to the Prophet Muhammad, and the Farsi inscriptions which mentions that the Jamia Masjid called masjid e Allah was built in AD 1782 by Tipu Sultan. Tipu Sultan Gumbaz The Gumbaz is an impeccably detailed mausoleum and houses the remains of Tipu Sultan, his father Hyder Ali and his mother Fatima Begum among beautifully manicured gardens. Various tombs of other relatives surround the Gumbaz, some with small signs offering guidance on which specific individuals are buried here. The outer Gumbaz columns are made of amphibolite, a very dark rock that exudes a somber richness. Handcrafted door frames covered in a deep lacquer finish lead into an inner tomb illuminated only by natural light. All visitors are welcome inside, and even encouraged to enter by the friendly doorman. <laughs> Wellesley Bridge Wellesley Bridge was erected by Dewan Purnaya on the Kaveri River in 1804. It was named after the then Governor General Marquis of Wellesley. The bridge is built of stone pillars and stone corbels and surrounded by stone girders. The bridge is very strong and has survived the heavy traffic of many years. Karagata viewpoint The Karagata viewpoint gives good panorama of Mysore and Srirangapatna cities from a height of 3,000 feet. Karagata is a hill a few kilometers outside the island town of Srirangapatna. The name Karagata translates to Black Hill in Kannada. The hill supports dry scrub jungle and many tamarind and gooseberry trees are found around the temple. A small river, Lokapavani, a tributary of Kaveri flows by the hill. The main entrance to the temple, with huge wooden doors opens into a large quadrangle, which is the main shrine for Vaikunda Srinivasa in black stone, flanked by Yoga Srinivasa without his consort and Boga Srinivasa idols. The hill may be climbed by stone steps 450 in number. A winding paved road is used for vehicular transport. The stone steps lead to a flat hilltop where the temple stands. The hillock has a superb panoramic view of Srirangapatna and Mysore. The beautiful landscape around the hill and the confluence of the Kaveri and Lokapavani rivers can be seen from atop the hill. <laughs> Nimishamba Temple The famous Nimishamba the incarnation of Parvathi, the goddess wife of Lord Shiva temple is on the bank of the Lokapavani river. This temple too can be clearly seen from the top of the Karagata hill. It is a belief that Parvathi will clear all the problems and troubles of her devotees within a minute Nimisha in Sanskrit, and hence the name. <laughs> Garrison Cemetery, Srirangapatna The Garrison Cemetery is located in Srirangapatna, on the banks of the river Kaveri, about 300 metres from the Bangalore-Mysore Highway. It has about 307 graves of the European officers killed in the final assault on Tipu Sultan in 1799, and their family members. Among the graves, there are 80 graves of the officers of the Swiss Regiment de Muron, and the rest of the graves are their family members. <laughs> Scots Bungalow, Seringapatam The Scots Bungalow is located in Seringapatam on the banks of the River Kaveri, at about half a mile from the Mysore Gate of the Seringapatam Gate. 
The bungalow was the residence of Colonel Scott, an officer of the Madras Army who took part in the siege of Seringapatam in 1799. The bungalow is associated with the legend and tradegi of Colonel Scott. The story of Scott's bungalow is lamented in a poem by Walter Yeldham called The Deserted Bungalow, published in 1875. Lord Harris House Between the Garrison Cemetery and Scott's Bungalow a path leads to house on the river banks. This house is known as Lord Harris House or the Doctor's Bungalow or Purania's Bungalow. This house was the residence of General Harris, for a short time after the siege of Seringapatam in 1799, and went on to become headquarters of the commanding officer of Seringapatam. In 1809, the house was the scene of a mutiny by officers of the Madras Army, led by Col. Bell, against Sir. George Barlow, the governor of Madras. Purnaya, lived in this house after his retirement from service in 1811, and died there on 28 March 1812. A tablet on the wall records the connection of Lord Harris and Purnaya to the house. Fort. <laughs> The fortress is in the west of the island, and is surrounded by double walls. The point at which the British broke through the walls, and thus Tipu Sultan's troops surprised, is marked by an obelisk. Also highlighted is the place where Tipu Sultan was killed by the British forces. In addition, the dungeon in which the Mysore rulers had imprisoned British soldiers. <laughs> Bailey's Dungeon This was the place where Tipu Sultan used to imprison all the British officers. It is near the death place memorial of Tipu Sultan and is surrounded by gardens on all four sides. Lord Bailey was the only British officer who died in that place and could not make it through the tough conditions and so it was later named after him. Another version says that the commanding officer of the British at the Battle of Palalar 1780, Col. Bailey, was imprisoned here after the defeat of his troops in the First Mysore War. Ranganathitu Bird Sanctuary Near the town is the Ranganathitu Bird Sanctuary, where several bird species breed, including the painted stork, open-billed stork, black-headed ibis, river tern, great stone plover and Indian shag. In literature Bernard Cornwell's Sharp's Tiger is a fictionalized account of the Battle of Seringapatam. It concentrates on the exploits of the fictional character of Richard Sharp, and the historic Arthur Wellesley, later the Duke of Wellington. Wilkie Collins' The Moonstone includes a prologue that takes place during the Battle of Srirangapatna, entitled, The Storming of Seringapatam during which a British officer steals a sacred Hindu diamond that becomes the mystery at the center of the novel. John Forster mentions in The Life of Charles Dickens that in a childhood playground of C.D. he had been delivered from the dungeons of Seringapatam, an immense pile of haycock, by the victorious British boy next door and his two cousins. C.P.G. 10 of the Everyman edition published in 1969. First published, London, Chapman and Hall, 1872-1874 in three volumes. Image gallery See also Karagata Road Banor Arakari Kodagahali <laughs>